caging. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. And the good fights keep on rolling. Man, we get Ryan. Superman fan versus my guy, Johnny Walker. As Tapology calls him, not applicable. <laughs> <laughs> Nickname not applicable. So, hey, my mm-hmm. guy, Johnny Walker versus Ryan, Superman's fan. Another good fight. This takes place at light heavyweight. Woo. Long they brought some heavy coming. hitters for this one. Long time coming. This is a fight Flashy, that needs to tap in. Yeah. All the power. Mm. All of the power. And what do fight. you think? What, what do you expect out of this one, man? This is going to have some... Are we going to see the Johnny Walker that we saw before the Corey Anderson fight? Or are we going to see the Johnny Walker we saw in the Kreloff fight? Oh, man. It's a... Uh... It's a tough call because the thing about Johnny Walker is he's been bouncing around camp for the last couple of fights because he's trying to figure out what what suits him best. Uh, I honestly think his best chance in this fight is to go out there and be as reckless as he was when he first uh, came into the league. And uh, if he's not out there with that level of urgency, that level of aggressiveness, and just the want to even score, I mean, uh, the want to even, you know, like, Finish the like he he needs to be he needs to be able to want to put himself in a position to score the flashy knockout like he was doing uh coming in uh, and if he doesn't if he doesn't I mean I don't know that Span can withstand uh I mean the the size is about the same the, the both of these guys are normally the guy that comes in with the reach advantage with the uh, length advantage right. Span is gonna have to Span is gonna have to find ways to to keep the distance uh. And negate those flashy things. Uh, it's Spam might even need to uh, find a way to get it to the ground. But uh, if Johnny Walker can can come out there with, with like I said, that, that same reckless aggressiveness that have people saying, this is the guy that's going to beat John Jones, then... I didn't say that. I was saying, saying that. that. I was saying that. I was saying that. I was saying that. Oh, man. It, it, like you, you hit everything. You hit the nail right on it. I think he needs to be who he used to be. And just go out there and get your Michelle Pieta on, man. Those some, those some exactly kicks that you, you need to uh, compare it to. Don't turn it into a thinking match. You j- you got figured out once by Corey Anderson, still fighter in his own right. Like, sometimes you get caught, but now you're trying to uh, start from scratch and you're bouncing from camp to camp. I think it's difficult. You're trying to change who you are, and uh, it might it could backfire. We saw it in the Creole fight. He didn't look like the Johnny Walker of old, and then maybe he was still shell shocked from that Corey Anderson. Uh, L that he took because that was a horrible, horrible derailed the hype train. No, no more John John Jones talk chatter after that one. And Span is uh, on a nice little win streak. He's uh he hasn't he lost is, since uh but he was hasn't lost hitter. since the Carl Oberson fight. He is very very, hitter, he very, is very against uh, at least against Sam Alvey. Sam Sam had him hurt in that fight too. Uh Sam is a good puncher in his own right. And if, imagine a Johnny Walker guy who if it's the old Johnny Walker, you assume that this will be an interesting fight. Knowing that Span uh, can be hit. And you know, eight fight tough. win streak. Eight fight win streak. Mm. Versus a two fight lose streak. Odds. Gotta say, be hungry. Gotta be hungry. I'd say this is a minus 30 for Johnny. Minus 30, 130 for Johnny Walker. To an even for Ryan Superman's fans. So Johnny Walker's come in, light favorite. <sighs> Ryan Span this might be the toughest call of the night. This is the toughest call of the night. Not even with those odds, just the matchups of these two. These guys are the closest, closest fighters on paper and and uh, ability on, on this card. I think Ryan Span lands something nasty. Lands something nasty. Lands a he- heavy right. If he can't sleep on his jujitsu, he can get some subs off. Exactly. That's what it's probably subs, uh, 10, 11 subs. Yeah. That's what's forgotten that's, about. Ryan that's Span. what's uh, get those subs off. Four KOs and eleven subs, bro. That's what that's what to get it done for him if he can't get it done. Uh out of eighteen wins. So if he can get it done, it's probably gonna be in the jujitsu, uh, in my opinion. Uh only been to three decisions uh that he won. I don't think Johnny Walker's out here trying to get a decision win anyway. So this ain't this ain't yeah, this ain't a fight that anybody's gonna be it's, deciding yeah. on. Not and, a decision uh, fight. Yeah. Span has to go in here and try not to get knocked out, though. That's that's the one thing, bro. Because Johnny Walker is. <sighs> but, but Johnny Walker hasn't looked good against anybody with the name. It's almost like we saw my guy 
who's also on his main card. Shamaya looked like, but we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that soon. We'll, we'll get to that soon. Oh, but my yeah. goodness. Johnny Walker, you go, you go down through the list of guys that he's beat. The best name on there that he's beat is Khalil Roundtree. That was at 205. Uh, right. So, I mean, Roundtree did go to middleweight. He went to middleweight, right? He went, or did Anders go down? Andrew, I, think I don't know. Anders went Andrew down to after that. Khalil Roundtree yeah, still yeah, 205. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clear Roundtree's still 205. Just got that fight. But yeah, bro. Johnny, Johnny yeah. Walker's a huge 205, though. That's that's different, bro. Clear Roundtree is pretty small. Johnny very, Walker's 6'6. Six, six, like, yeah, Johnny Walker's 6'6. Six, six. That's that's different. Ryan Spin, 6'5, okay. bro. This is a. Uh... You said you very got Ryan much. Spin? I got Ryan I Spin. I got Ryan Spin as well. Uh, I don't think Johnny Walker can uh, fly any a guy that's uh, also 6'5. <laughs> so as long as Ryan Spin ain't out here just ducking his face into this guy's knee, he should be able to get it done. I think I'll he be might out be able there. to just Dominic Cruz on. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be some, uh, not the not the kick that was supposed to be a kick, but it landed uh, with a knee to my face, like not that to one. To a short guy, to the shortest guy in the division. Oh man, I never lost it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I got I got Ryan Spann with the uh, submission. It's either gonna be a submission or ground and pound, something on the uh, something on the floor. And we saw uh, Johnny Walker in his last fight end up on the, on his back quite quite often. So yeah, man, this is a uh, that's that's what I see happening. Slight upset, slight upset for Ryan Spann. So yeah, as always, don't forget to subscribe over here. Coming. Don't forget to let us know who you think got this one. You got Johnny Walker. You got Ryan Spann. Let us know in the comment section. More fights this to come. Is this. I think the next fight is the Chimaya fight. Interesting. Interesting. Hey. Two hype trains Shout fighting my right by each other. Smash. Two hype trains fighting right Smash. next. Smash. Yeah, smashing these hype trains. <laughs> Let's go, Buck on them. Coming. Cajun. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> I know what it is.